welcome back to my channel. Uh, for what, this Wednesday's video, I am going to be doing um, something a little bit different. I have been doing a home waste audit on uh, my new apartment, and so I'm just going to do a, a short video on how to fund your zero waste lifestyle. Uh, have you ever wanted to reduce waste in your living space? Um, one good way to do that is to basically go on Pinterest and find these, there's several articles available that um, show essentially what areas in your house where you can reduce waste. And there is a bait, like the master list of things and then there is the various areas in your house, like the bathroom, um, the kitchen, the bedroom, things like that, that you can um, think about to kind of reduce waste in your um, home. Um, in my recent move, I uh, kind of realized that in the, when the pipes burst in my last apartment for the second time in a row, so the second year in a row, um, I finally was able to move everything out of the um, space because I was finally moving. But by the time it had flooded, the everything that was left over was essentially clutter. Um, there wasn't a lot of meaningful or sentimental things that um, got destroyed, I don't think, as far as I know. Um, I had moved out like the weekend before and moved all the sentimental and monetary valued items just before that happened. So thankfully, I didn't have to deal with major loss in that way. Um, that kind of sparked a change in me because I do recognize that for certain people, like if you're neurodivergent or if you have ADD or ADHD, cleanliness and organization can be really uh, challenging. And so I do feel like I may be on the spectrum of that. Um, it's been very difficult to kind of figure out if I'm any of that because I do have very strong, intense anxiety at times. And it's hard for me to figure out if it's just the anxiety or if it's actually um, ADHD or ADD or something like that um, and so I've been actually going on a more personal journey with that in terms of figuring out what could be I guess my issue and figuring out what to do and how to change it and so this home edit home waste home waste edit audit Edit audit, however you want to say, home waste audit has been a part of that journey for me. Um, one thing that I have kind of really mastered during my last move is to do a Facebook marketplace. Um, I have, I've been, I love finding little unique treasures and stuff like through um, online or thrift stores or anything like that. I wouldn't say I'm a necessary pack rat or uh, a hoarder or anything like that. I don't have large quantities of things or whatever. But I do like finding finding things and finding unique things and I would say that it, there's some consequences that come with that and so um, anyway so part of that I've been mastering Facebook Marketplace and so uh, Facebook Marketplace is a good, great um area to resell items in your homes. What I've been personally doing is recognizing certain things that are single use. So for example, in the, on the corresponding blog post um, that I did on this, uh, I used the example of rechargeable candles. Um, rechargeable candles are great because uh, they are flameless. So like you can use them in places where you can't have a real candle and um, they create a great atmosphere. They're relatively inexpensive. However, if you get a set of nine, which I did, uh, it takes two AA batteries. Batteries can be really expensive, especially if you're on a budget. Um, 
and if you replace, replace the batteries all at once, um, that's 18 batteries because there's nine candles and it take two batteries each. That's 18 batteries. Um, depending on how much you use the candles, it could be a couple, every couple of months that you have to replace 18 batteries. And that's a lot of batteries to go in the landfill and, um, and to end up in your home and cause corrosion and stuff like that. So I found, even though they're a little bit more expensive, I found on Amazon rechargeable batteries and, um, not rechargeable batteries, rechargeable, uh, candles, although rechargeable batteries could work too, if you still want to stick to, um, rechargeable to batteries, um, if you can't afford the, um, if you can't afford the rechargeable candles. However, rechargeable batteries are also expensive. So if you buy nine or 18 rechargeable batteries, I'm not sure that, what the math is on that. And you just kind of have to figure that out uh, kind of on, on your own, I guess, and figure out how much that will cost. But that's going to be a lot more expensive than um, just buying rechargeable candles. So anyway, so I've been on the hunt, um, not on the hunt, but I've been on the mission to resell my rechargeable candles. I've had quite a few people interested. A sale hasn't come through yet, but perhaps if I leave it up long enough, it might just happen. Um, So there's, if you want to see more information, um, about the home waste audit, you can go onto my Pinterest board and there's a board, um, uh, called the home waste audit board. And essentially you can see the different areas of your home where you can audit and reduce waste. Um, it can be... Yeah, it's a balance too. You kind of have to figure out, um, essentially like what, what works for you, I guess, in the sense that like, obviously there's some things that won't work, like reusable toilet paper. Like that's not going to work. That's really disgusting in my opinion. Um, and yeah. And the, also like reusable, like feminine hygiene products. Uh, I personally have a very heavy flow, um, so like stuff like that wouldn't necessarily work for me. But if you are, for example, if you have a lighter flow, you might end up doing the re reusable feminine hygiene products and that might be a good solution for you. So kind of think smart about that. Um, for the first time, like I decided to use uh, reusable hand towels because paper towels were one of those, one of the things that just were, was constantly in the, my house and it constantly ended up on the floor or like, um, just all over the place. And it was something that I just constantly used because it was handy. It was quick. Like it was like next door or not next door, but like, um, on the table or something. It was easy to grab and, um, yeah, so like that sort of thing was just really easy to grab. So I'm trying reusable um, hand towels or paper towels for the first time, and so far I'm I don't mind it actually. Um, I don't mind them. They, I mean, respectively, like they do get stained and food on them, but so do paper towels, um, and I have to. I haven't been good about remembering to put them in the wash. Um, but if you do laundry like every week, um, or something and laundry is just more common thing than from someone like myself, then I can definitely see that being, um, a, a good change in, in your house. Because if you're already doing laundry every week, just put the, hand towels in the, wa in the wash and there's that. So the ones that I got, I think are made from bamboo and they dry out really quickly, which really helps because you can hang them up. If you remember to hang them up, they dry out in a couple hours and you can use them again. 
Um, so I actually don't mind reusable paper towels and obviously that will cut down on a cost too. I don't have to buy paper towels much anymore. Um, so let's see if there's anything else I can think of that I recently, um, bought. Um, not necessarily. I mean, I'm just trying to think of, like, reducing single-use things. I know the pantry is really hard area to work on because a lot of food items are single-use. And it's, th th it's hard because, like, I recently just got the Chef Boyer D mac and cheese, like, containers that you put in a microwave, and then I realized how kind of wasteful that purchase was because I don't have a microwave right now because um I had one in my last space and it didn't cross over or I couldn't take it because it belonged to that apartment and I haven't been in a position to buy a microwave um so I don't have a microwave right now so that that would mean like emptying out the container putting it into a pot on the stove and then um, and then just throwing out the container. Whereas if I just had a regular macaroni pasta and like the macro mac cheese powder separately, which I do have, like that, that would be tons better because I would, wouldn't have to throw out the container. So little things like that kind of like think about. So I think I'm just going to keep the mac and cheese or donate it to a food pantry um because it, it just doesn't like it doesn't make sense there's um easy mac and cheese packets that I got which are um like a cup of macaroni pasta and a plastic bag separated from powder like, and I'm in one of those mylar bags or something like that and that's okay. I don't mind plastic in that way because it kind of serves a purpose in the sense of it being in servings and separating powder, but you still have like the single use like aspect of it. Um, so I don't think like I, I w had worked in an office over the winter and, um, I think my mindset was kind of like, oh, I get these single use items for the office and I'll have lunch for the office, but now I'm not in the office anymore. It doesn't make sense to kind of like, um, use them because it, it's just like, I'm at home and I don't need to have a single use item like that. So the pantry is a hard one. Um, Let's see, other, I guess, the bedroom, there's not too much, obviously. Um, maybe some like vanity things, like makeup stuff that you can do single use. Or um, like you can not actually not do single use. So for example, you, for, there's a lot of like ways to do home like home body um, products that you can do and one of the things that I love to do because it helps kind of um, refresh my hair and like overall like helps with my energy levels is dry shampoo um, so whenever I'm lacking energy to do like a full body <laughs> pampering session I just do a dry shampoo spray and that's that um, but obviously when that product is done I'll have to throw it out so so I'm gonna have to think if there's ways to do um do a DIY uh dry shampoo and maybe over the next couple of weeks I'll do a video on that and you can there will be a Pinterest board on that but for now um that is 
essentially how you can find your zero waste lifestyle. Um, go on to Facebook Marketplace and resell any items that are um, single use or if they take a lot to use. So like the candles that I mentioned as an example. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and um, if you do, hit like and then if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Main upload days are Wednesdays and Sundays with a, maybe a vlog or two throughout the week as an additional piece of content. Um, so that's that and I'll see you in the next one.